Thanks, Satan. Aw, thank you, Satan. That sounds just like the little Tiny Tim knockoff from the uh, Borderlands 2 Christmas DLC. <laughs> Again, yeah. there are only so many voice actors in video games. I mean, Nolan North is like, what, like 50% of male roles? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> I know the guy, that does, joke about that. the guy that does Spike Spiegel does a Ooh, lot shit. of voices. Treasure Goblin! Okay, got him. Wouldn't let me yeah. move because those worms are on me. <laughs> well, no worries. If you haven't noticed yet, though, I have a bad habit of diving, like, suicidally into enemies to get at goblins. They have treasure. They do. Oh shit, frozen. Watch out for these spears. I wish I could do that. Yeah, if you can see these guys, like, uh, I'll tell you- oh, there we go. You see the spears appearing? Oh god. I I must wait longer. Yep. It hurts a lot to get frozen, and when you're frozen, your defenses go to shit. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a thing back here I can use, I guess. Yep. I would definitely do that just to get your health back. Did it heal you too when I used it? Mm-hmm. Huh. The game is pretty kind about that stuff. It's crazy. Like, the most fatal enemies I've encountered so far are only fatal after I've killed them. <laughs> uh, the things we love kill us in the end. That actually makes no sense in this context, but I think I said it impressively enough to get away with it. <laughs> as long as he never realizes. So yeah, if you mouse over like any of these guys, it'll say things like demon or beast. If you mouse over an elite, it'll tell you um, like what their sort of powers are, roughly. And I think there's like 20 or 30 different powers in the game that they can pull from. And unless it's a like an actual boss, it'll randomize every time. Okay. They did, however, change the game a little bit to make certain combinations impossible, as the higher the difficulty goes, the more powers they get to have all at once. Okay, so we have, we have an arrow showing us which direction to go roughly, so I think we need to head further up this hallway than to the right. Wow, I missed some stuff on the ground there, but I did. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine, probably. Unless you see an orange marker. Then go back for it. <laughs> Achievement hey, money bags. He must have collected a certain amount of cash. He must have amassed fat stacks of paper. That's one of two. So now we go down to the eastern That's channel to get the other one. It's kind of hard to get stuck in this game, at least. How do you mean? Like, it kind of just eventually tells you. Like, it shows you on your map where you haven't been, and if you haven't gotten an objective done yet, and that's kind of obvious. Like, that's obviously where you need to go. Yeah, true. They... I mean, this, I think that might have all been in the, from the beginning of the game, too, but they put a lot of work into trying to make the game sort of, if not easier, at least making it more approachable. I mean, if you remember playing, like, Path of Exile, it may just have been that I didn't know the game as well as this one, because I haven't played it as much, but I always felt this game was a lot easier to sort of pick up and understand, like, what they wanted you to do. And I didn't feel nearly as nervous about, you know, wasting a ton of time by investing in stuff that would turn out to be a waste later. Going from, like, this to Path of Exile, Path of Exile just seems like a, like a kind of a, just a copy. Almost exactly. Oh, yeah. 
It's very similar. I mean, Path of Exile is meant to be Diablo 2. A lot of fans of Diablo 2 did not like Diablo 3, but, I mean, honestly, I, having played both, I'm more a fan of this one myself. This is the most recent one, right? Yeah. Diablo 2 is like 15 years old. When did this one come out? Um, I was like five, six, seven years ago. I'm guessing the graphics in Diablo 2 weren't really as good, huh? Oh no, they're 2D. I mean, they're, they're really good 2D for the time, but I mean, it's... Oh shit. Those yeah. lasers. Yeah. But hey, you're getting what you wanted. A little more difficulty. Mm-hmm. Wait until we hit Torment 10. <laughs> if we get there, at least. Sure, we'll beat the game by then. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean... At the, I have no doubt you can beat the game pretty easily. The, it, that's not really the, really the hard part. Actually, there isn't a, exactly a hard part, unless you want to go deeply into running crazy shit. By order of the Trade Consortium Council, after the Dalgar Oasis hmm. was discovered three centuries ago. Well, actually, I may have mentioned this game actually has seasons, just like uh, Overwatch. But the way the seasons work in this is, if you make a seasonal character, you have to start from the beginning with none of your equipment and none of your benefits. And the benefit of playing Seasonal is you get much higher drop rates in almost everything, and new items that haven't appeared yet in the main game. Oh, chains! This is a new uh, one you haven't seen before. So those fire chains between the, uh, the elites, if you stand in them, you will get hurt a lot. I'm trying to avoid the fire on the ground. That is an excellent idea. I mean, you can take it a lot better than I can, but you generally want to try and avoid it if possible. Ooh, you got the fight up there. Pretty sure it's a dead end. Well, actually, no, maybe it's not. No. Yeah, this actually looks like it might be... Oh, no, it's, it actually is a dead end. It took a little longer than I expected. <laughs> I was just about to say it looked like a more promising path than the one I'd seen. I very rarely see them go that far and then peter out. Just an extra long tease. Oh, hey, goblin. Shit, where'd he go? Okay, I think I got him. Wow, we dropped a lot. We did. <laughs> sort of ignoring the monsters for a second to pick up all the shit. Priorities. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna die. Wow, that's a giant sword. Yet another dead end. For our enemies, at least. <laughs> Check my inventory. Oh, I'm full completely. Oh, oh all right. Well, we some, can teleport back. I have some square back, gems now too. Oh, nice. Never seen those. What are those like? Um, the the there's only five colors of gems. The um, the size or shape of them determines how strong they are. So generally, the larger or more complicated gem it looks, the better it'll be. When you get the gem combiner, you can start like melding cheaper, smaller gems into larger and larger gems. Oh, okay. So I can't put a square one in one of the round ones, though. Uh, no. New goods today. Please look. You won't be disappointed. Oh, wait, actually, no. You can put a square one in a round. There, the, the the shape of the gem doesn't matter at all for the slot. Slots are just slots. How do I show you an item again? I forget. Uh, shift click it.
That's what I found. <laughs> yep, that is actually based on one of the most famous items from World of Warcraft. And it's also just a really good sword. Hmm. Yep, so every time you hit somebody, you have a chance to deal 279 damage as lightning, which will then jump to other enemies nearby, just on top of every other thing you do. <laughs> well, then. That's pretty nice. And also means you can now transmogrify any new stuff you get to look like it, too. If you want to pay, at least. Oh, Lord. Let me just store these real quick. Yep. I gotta sell a few things fast. So much stuff. You do indeed. It's kind of annoying that I can't pop these gems out after I put them in, though, because you'll be able to soon, though. Uh, as soon as you get the gem collector which we'll be meeting in this chapter, you'll have the ability to do that. Achievement or something. Uh, equip a socketed item into all six of these slots. I see. Oh, voodoo mask. Can't wear that. Yep, got to. Uh, if you play as a witch doctor at some point, you can do that. I do actually have a. I think I've got a high level witch doctor named Billy. Huh, of course you do. They didn't have quite enough space for me to write billywitchdoctor.com, but that was the intent. All right, now I need to, God, there's just so many things to take into account. <laughs> Like these pants I have, I can, they have two gym slots. I kind of just want to throw them on, you know. Yeah, sure. Something. I mean, it, well, you could just toss in some random gems. I mean, if you have any um, diamonds or um, red, white, or um, purple gems, you can just throw them in and they'd probably be pretty decent. Uh, red would increase the damage. Uh, white or purple would increase the, um, like, the vitality or health or something. That's probably... That's and you now have a sword idea. just covered in lightning. Yeah, I thought I would run with that one. Makes these, sense. These other two shields are pretty good, but they don't have uh, gym slots on them. So Just make sure you swap back to using the single um, weapon. Oh, I already have. I like the helmet, too. That mace I was using earlier that had the flames on it was... Um, two-handed. Okay. Are we ready to go back? Yep. 
So now we're left with the final channel. And I keep getting messages. Nebraska home welcoming committee. <laughs> Y'all got your red shirt yet? <laughs> ah, I shouldn't be mean. They're actually incredibly nice, but... Well, so the are people in Kentucky until weird. you disagree with their, you know, <laughs> political beliefs. <laughs> That's a fair point. I mean, you can, until they know that you're liberal, you know, they'll give you the shirt off your back. You can walk into somebody's house, can ask them for some food, you that know. Passage should lead to the <laughs> but then, then as, as soon as you find out you're a godless communist, then, well. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. A secret door hidden behind the waterfall. How imaginative. <laughs> How imaginative. You, <laughs> you shall see when we get to my archives. <laughs> So we go down here. Okay. I think waterlogged passage is right down here. It's the big one that just opened up. Hmm. All right. I've answered their questions. Oh, hey, it's the gem guy. Once we deal with the rest of this stuff, at least. So yeah, you'll be able to get your gems popped out soon. Talking barrel. Are you still alive out there, or is it the monster? No. Say yes if you are. Covetous Shen. Or you could clap. Thank you for releasing me. Help me. So yeah, we help him on a very short quest, and then you'll have him back in town to uh, use. You'll have to level him up if you want to get, you know, high-level gems off of him, but. Uh, he can remove gems for free now, which is kind of bullshit as it used to cost a lot of money to remove them. But probably a good idea to get rid of that at some point, because that used to take a, like a good chunk of my income. I can always tell when you do that because it roars across my screen. <laughs> Well, considering the amount of costs, it damn well should. Do you have bombardment, by the way? It's like a Not 60 yet. second. I think well, I have uh, like level 61 for that. That's a ways off. I wouldn't be shocked. It's kind of stupidly powerful, but I think I might mention this before, but back before you were playing the game, but um, one of the legendaries that you can get, which nobody else can, is a belt, which makes bombardment. Like, bombardment is usually like a 60 second cooldown. It not only casts it for free, but it does it every six seconds, randomly. Oof, that's insane. It's... it's fucking stupid. I mean, and even better than that, any rune you attach to um, Bombardment actively gets picked up by the skill. His name was Gavin, hmm. I believe. So yeah, like, well, like, it's like a meteor shower, I guess, or something? Yeah, it basically means every six seconds you do like 10,000% weapon damage to everything around you. In fact, you can find all the items you need to use that skill even at this point in the game. But um, they're no fairly not great. Rid of them, I guess. Yeah, you'll, it'll be obvious. The weapons they come on are really good. Like, none of it's going to be tricky or hard to figure out. I've got somebody actively sending me a lot of images. Here we go, that's his friend. His friend is dead. Yep. Poor little man. If I had known the crucible would you come see me in Well, you know, I've been searching for a certain jewel for a long, long time. Where have I heard this voice? 
but maybe if I fuck I know this guy but I yeah I'm not I can't get it off the top of my head it's a Disney movie or something your journey and make glorious jewelry for you fuck I think you're right as long as you don't cause any trouble oh the way out is just a little farther I am starving do you think we'll find any good food down here highly unlikely such pessimism from one so young ah oh, man I can't it's right on the tip of my tongue Somebody from Mulan? I think he was like the court advisor or something. Yeah, it sounds like a Mulan character, but there's something else he was in too that's like very obvious. I'll have to look it up later if I don't forget. I'll probably forget. <laughs> probably, but hey, no harm. Okay. So we just opened up the new area and the new quests we have to go on. Hidden camp? Is that, is that where we're supposed to go? Well, Hidden Camp is back to the basic, you know, the starting oh, area. Oh, duh, okay. Unfortunately, I may have to pause here for a sec as I need to actually sleep in the near future, as I probably should be well-rested for tomorrow. And I need to get up at, like, God, like 6.30 or 6.45 if I want to actually be at work on time. You know, given a bit of prep time and all that. Right. Okay, this would be a good stopping point for me, too.